All right, welcome, welcome, everybody. My name is eBay, and today we're gonna go ahead and continue our playthrough with Banners of Ruin. Uh, we left off with playing with the mouse and weasel combo. Uh, we're not too far in the run. We only played for about maybe 30 minutes or so in the last uh, session, so we're just basically got t in very, let's say, like a, I don't even know how far in, but not very far. So we're still kind of running it. We got something, somewhat of a deck building going on. I don't know, but yeah. So we're going to go ahead and complete this run. Hopefully see how far we can go. And uh, get some more companion. Level, build up our deck. And hopefully we can get to the castle. That's where I left off as far as I went before. But we'll see. We'll see if we can get there and actually overthrow the king. So I'm mad king as they say uh oh nope not abandon continue so yeah okay here we are so now we got some options where we left off we got light foots we can buy some cards we do have some money but i kind of want to save that money to get some um new companions by getting some new companions will help us um, with our journey further. So I'm thinking we they're about 600 gold each right off the bat. Um, so if I can get at least 1,200, I can do two. If I get two in my party, I think that would take us uh, uh, further than I usually. Because I, I, typically when I get two, it's towards the later end of the game. And it's kind of a struggle. So if I can hopefully save up as much money as I can to get two right off the bat, going and fighting the first boss, that actually might help out. Makes things a little easier. So, yeah, let's go with the loot. And we got this. Oh, here we go. Heavy armor. So we're going to give this to this little dude here. Because the heavy armor basically builds up, starts each combat with 38 armor, getting 10 armor and 2 Winded every turn. Ooh, this one's a little different. This one's too winded every turn. Hmm. The last one I had was one winded. And it wasn't really much of an issue. Because winded is next turn lose one stamina for every stack of winded when winded is removed. So you lose one stamina for every stack of winded. So if I get two, I'm losing two stamina. Um. Which might... Let's keep this on hand. Keep that on deck just in case. I'll try it out in the first battle and see what that takes me. And if it goes to a point where it's just becoming a disaster, we're going to swap it back. Swap it back because I feel like he might not be able to do much with the two stamina or two winded every turn. Um, I had one with one, uh, one winded every turn, but it um basically kind of washed out one and one but we'll see we'll see what it does we'll, we'll have that on deck if we need to switch it <clears throat> brawlers buy more cars more weapons this is always good to do now this is going to lead us into the fight we're going to go with armor and weapons because i feel like that might be a beneficial route to get something better so we're going to take the elite combat and hopefully we can get out of this see this is nice attack three times and gain five shield armor. That's actually pretty good. Um, I want it show me. Interesting. Usually it shows me up front. So this has 11 damage. Opponent has no armor and deal five bleed. He's doing straight up bleed. So that'll be pretty. I'm going to leave him as is. And this one here. So really, ooh, something's going on here. Interface is kind of bugged out. There we go. Um, this breaks. If this breaks the target's arm, and gain two power. So, um, I'm not too worried about that really. So I think I'm gonna give him that, so he can stack up more armor and do more damage with three, three times five. That's pretty good. And gain five armor for every hit. Yeah, I think attack three times, gain five armor. So that will help with armor. What we got here? Start each armor with 14, 24. Gain one stamina, huh? 10 armor. Gain one 
Sanima. This is a little better now. I could have it where he's getting more Sanima. He has plus one on top of the three, so he has four. And he's just three. So, I mean, I could give him more armor, but I don't necessarily really need it at this point. Because he's going to start with a lot of armor, so I could just stack him with armor. So all my armor cards are going to go to, straight to him. So we're good there. I could hold on to this weapon. But it's going to throw this card into my deck and it'll be a useless card. And it's just going to be a filler until I get someone else. We'll hold on to that. And we'll see what everyone else has. Alright, so here we go. So hopefully we are pretty banged up. <laughs> I just realized that. Um, all right. So, what do we do here? What do we do? He's going to do an AoE. So, these two are doing 10 damage to everyone that's going to block and block. He's going to do another 10. So, I need to block 20 on him. So, let's go ahead and just stack the armor. All right. So, we got 20 there. So, we're good. Um, I could move him, but I don't want to. I'll save it. So we can do damage there. So we'll have him do damage to all of them. Nice. That's actually really nice. And then we will exhaust him and gain more armor and we're done. And we're just gonna take a we're just gonna take a beating. But now you can see he only has one Stanima this play, so that's the downside to that. So we definitely need to beef up his Stanima. Alright, so hopefully now we can do some damage. The discarded card. So we got both their playing cards here. He can't even play them. Um, he doesn't have enough stamina to play this card. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I feel about that. <sighs> He's going to be my damage dealer for sure. I can only do... That. I can do all three of these. He can't do nothing. So I guess I'll just take this card and discard that because I can't use it and then we hit them oh just straight up kill them I'm not really worried about the damage though because we'll absorb it so let's do some damage here and we're good to go Now he has no stamina points. <laughs> so he, yeah, this is what I thought it would happen. He would just be a, a walking tank. He's just a wall, not doing much. So it'll be, it's a good combo to have. But I need another damage dealer. So this might play out interesting. So let's see. I mean, he could take all the hits though. All we need to do is just boost him up, get the armor. So there's that card. We can't do much with that. Um, Deals eight damage applied to power to another ally. It's kind of pointless. They're all this is not good. So he's gonna what do twelve, six. That's good. And so six, seven. Ah, oh, no, it's not enough. He's definitely gonna take damage. Oh no. Ugh. I really need to kill someone. I really need to kill this dude right here. He needs to die. Now, huh. I'm gonna get what? How many of those cards? Three concealed blade in your hands? I can't even use them. Hmm. Eight. Ten, that's only eighteen. Ah, oh, it's not enough. Well, he's going to take damage. This is not enough. 
not enough to do here. I really needed him. This is a bad move. This is a bad move. I don't know what to be the most damage right now. Because that would be 10. And that would be... 3. So 13. Or I do this. 8 damage. Plus 10. 18 damage. It's almost killing this dude. Just because he can't fight. Oh, this is terrible. Well. Hmm. I just had one more point. All right, well, this takes a He's gonna get hit. Oh, this is so ugly. So now he has one stamina. Well, I think this is going to be it of the run. This is definitely it. This is not... This is... That goofed me up. That definitely screwed me over on that play. I should have hit him. Oh, he can't use him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're pretty much screwed now. This is tough. This is definitely tough. Cause we can't do much here. Finally, they're all attacking him. And it's all because of that armor. I should took. I shouldn't have put it on. I knew it was gonna be a problem. If I had that, didn't have that armor, we would be winning right now. Oh man, having that definitely a third person on that. <clears throat> oh, this is tough. I mean, he's not doing much, but we could just kill him. Not really worried about that. These can take the damage. I don't even want to get some of these back lines out. What can I do? If the character is in the back rate, target rank gains 10 poison extra turn. Yeah, we're going to poison all of them. That should do some damage there. And we'll do... There. I'll just absorb that damage. Now it's their turn, and... Yeah, they're really going for blood, but we should... be able to kill them. Oh, I should. Well, all right. All right, they're dead. See, I can't even use this. This is not even good. He has so much armor, though. Alright, well, we're gonna live this, that's for sure. So, we'll be alright. Oh, yeah, these are in my... Oh, so just, they're just permanently there, huh? I 
I need to heal. Definitely taking the Kimbo. That's nice. All right. Well, now we could possibly upgrade. Let's investigate the weasel. We need to heal for sure. He's not in a good shape. I might want to take that armor off for now. Transform a skill. Okay. Let's take one we want to transform into something else. I mean, what kind of should we use? What are we using that's not... What can we swap out? Let's see, deal five damage if target has more charge than armor. Deal four times three. Um, that might be something we can do. Sunder. I'm not getting any vulnerable, so let's just swap that out. Something else. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's the card we were looking for. Remove all bleed on an ally, apply five. Um, so we'll take it. I mean, now we have that vulnerability card, so... It's a bummer we had to get rid of it. Uh, one that we needed. At least we have that card. So that's an elite. We're going to avoid that for sure. And hopefully we're going to... Uh, let's change up some positions here. Let's put him in the back line here. So they'll have to go through him first. That's probably what we would have done, should have done on the other one. And maybe we can get through this. It's the only thing I can really think of if I have him in the front line taking all the damage. He had 70 armor at the end and wasn't really using it. My other guy was getting beaten up. Hopefully these are a little easier, because he's looking pretty rough. So they'll always go after him now. So he has the armor to absorb all that. So we're going to boost him up, because his first run is always the most. Now we got 53 armor. Now we have him. We could do some damage here. Boom, dead. Nice. And then he'll just do 20 damage. Definitely need to level him up, though. Okay, that's nice. Um... Now nah, I can play that. If target has more... He's dead. He's bleeding. Oh, that's the only downside is the bleed. If he has no armor. All right. here if all party members game three blood apply that to hard deal five damage each time you play this card in combat plus five damage of unplayed during cleanup damage is reset hmm none of these are really good so gain equal to the total armor adjacent of the allies Equal to the total of armor of adjacent allies on rank. Um, that might be potentially good if we get another party member, so I'll hold on to that. Ah, oh, fine. Someone leveled up. Alright. Did you level up? Yeah, let's get two more points, buddy. Um, whenever this character receives damage, the attack gains one poison. Whenever the character plays a talent, um, pick any card from your draw pile, place it on the top of the pile. Banish. Oh. Fun. 
Whenever a character plays a weapon card, oh. Let's take the poison and use the tank. And you will go with. Oh, uh, he already has kind of five. I probably should have went there. Right, but, uh, bleeding deal five damage applied two vulnerable and one bleed. It's rend. Huh. Whenever this character ruins a card, spawn a rend in your hand. Oh. Brawler, at, at, at turn in, if three or more enemies are intending to attack this character, gain one shield. Phantom, every time you play a Ruin card, play it. Yes, I don't really have that, so we'll just do that. Oh, yes. Spy cards hidden. We want to heal for sure. That is nice. Merchant in trouble. Heal party by 50%. Modify your deck. Gain dodge and armor. I definitely want to just heal. There doesn't seem to be any guards around. Take the goods while they're distracted. Plus 250. What is that? The option leads to a random outcome. Or choose a skill. Hmm. Get money, but nah. Let's choose a skill. You approach the scene and dress the thugs. Brandish your steel. If you're looking for trouble, you found it. It doesn't take them long to excuse themselves. Thank you, strangers. I've never seen those brutes before. Where are those sounding guards when you need them? I told you, please take something from my wares. Alright, deal four damage to vitality. Apply wound. This character bleeds no longer uh, takes down. Select the target if the position in front of them is vacant. Move them into it. Uh, discard all ruins cards. <laughs> move people from the back line to the front if it's open that might be good to distort to disrupt back line um, movements and attacks or just do damage and the bleed no longer ticks down I'll do that kind of going for that whole bleed thing we didn't heal though modify your deck we're gonna go down there when one is a wooden walking stick he leans on, some Florians for a wise fellow. He croaks in a slow, faint voice. So I gain a skill, remove a card, reroll a talent. Um, hmm, well, he's trying to get to 1200. We'll get, we'll gain a skill. What do we got here? Protection, draw one card. We're definitely taking that. A chance to heal, a, ch a chance to improve. These beauties are the, some elder gold cloaks, but it looks like you could use some of this for the pain that is. He hands you a familiar looking bottle, carefully armored with fine crafted leather. It's my last bottle. Select a character to heal. It tastes foul enough that you wonder if it really did just poison you. Offering thanks, you look up to find him already vanished. Don't tell me he's poisoned. Oh, he's healed. Okay. All right, we're good to go. Alter a chance to improve. That's nice. Uh, they're navigating some narrow shortcuts when you hear a crash behind you. One of your parties has stumbled through a rotten wooden wall. Look here in and see a humble cedarwood shrine. Smells like home. There's no signs of inhabitants and the candles are freshly lit. Ooh, correct. Oh, nice. We got plus 15 max vitality. Select one character to increase the vitality. Um... Let's go with him. All right, well, we made it to the tavern. I'm only going to be able to get one person. I could get <gasps> two. I could get two. I get the wolf. Hopefully the wolf's pretty good. Let's see. Dagger, 12 damage. If target is crippled, double damage. Okay, and you have ruin a card. Select a target. Gain double their bleed stacks. Huh. As a stamina cost of bloodbath increased by one. Huh. Select the target, gain double their current bleed stacks as brutality. This character next attack applies 
blood equal to the brutality stacked. Oh. Sanima cost of blood worth is increased by one. Oh, okay. So if they're bleeding. But I have to ruin a card. That's a bummer. Uh, and that ruin changes a card into a ruin card. Ruining a card during campaign is permanent, but they're temporary with, within combat. So this Mm, okay. He's 450. He's not bad. He has a dagger. Or he has a polearm. Um, let's see. We got another shield boy. Um, at the start of their turn, if this character has any will, they draw one card. Okay. So that's more cards. Dual, deal weapon damage three times, eight damage, and a shield. Good play, Kim. And now we have you, another weasel, eight damage target. If target has armor, double damage. Oh, nice. Gain 18 armor, gain a shield, deal three times, three de deal three damage times, times for each stack of blade lead on a target. <sighs> okay, these might actually be pretty good because I'm having that whole bleed kind of thing. What's going on here? Whenever this character moves, they gain 10 armor. I'm thinking I'm going to go with this guy. As, because we can do some dished out damage. We could dish out some pretty good damage. With this, deals three damage times this stack of bleed. So if they have three bleed, it's three times three. That's pretty good. And if they have armor on top of it, it's going to be, you know, we have this weapon. So we could do some damage. We're definitely hiring you. Sir, and we're gonna definitely hire you. I feel like that's way worth it. And change. No, we want. So, what is this? This is 14 armor. You have gain 10 on one Sanima. This is 14 armor. Okay. I think we're good. Now, position wise. So, I need you back here and I need you here. Two weasels, a mouse, and a wolf. That's what we're going with. Hmm. That's how our party came out to be. All right. I think we're good. Now, let's see. Recruit, recruit. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it and want to thank you for taking your time to watch the video. If you would like to see more content like this, please let me know in the comments below. Also, liking the video will help me know as well. I stream over at Twitch TV slash eBag01. I would love for you to come over and hang out with me. Anyways, that is that. I will talk to you all later.